Have you ever stopped to consider that in a world where the speed of communication often makes us forget manners, true elegance might be hidden in the subtleties of modern etiquette? I'm Carol, and today on Lucrative Elegance, we're going to uncover the etiquette rules that, though modern, are essential for any woman who values not just her appearance, but also her behavior and respect for others. Many of us, without even noticing, fall into behavior traps that, to those who value finesse and education, may seem like serious faux pas. These missteps, ranging from how we use our smartphones to how we conduct ourselves at social events, have the power to say a lot about us, far beyond what our words could express. Right now, you might be wondering, have I ever made any of these mistakes? Or how can I incorporate these modern etiquette rules into my daily life to refine my elegance and respect for others even more? That's exactly what we're going to explore today. We'll reveal five essential practices you might be doing without realizing, which could be distancing you from the true sophistication we so admire in icons like Audrey Hepburn, Kate Middleton, or even the unforgettable elegance of Coco Chanel. If you value beauty in the small things and believe that true femininity is expressed through refined and considerate actions, this video is for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell so you don't miss any of our valuable insights, and leave your like. Together, we'll rediscover the power of modern etiquette and how it can transform not just how the world sees us, but more importantly, how we see ourselves and respect the space and presence of everyone around us. Get ready for a journey that goes beyond just looking good socially. Let's together elevate our self-esteem, polish our behavior, and perhaps rediscover the lost art of true elegance. One, standing up to greet someone who has just arrived. The art of etiquette is filled with subtle yet powerful gestures that communicate respect and consideration for others. Among these gestures, one of the most significant is the act of standing up to greet someone who has just arrived. This simple movement can completely transform how the person feels upon entering a room, giving them a sense of value and importance. When we remain seated to greet someone arriving, the message sent can be interpreted as a lack of interest or respect. On the other hand, by standing up, we are acknowledging the person's presence and demonstrating that we are willing to momentarily interrupt what we are doing to properly welcome them. This act symbolizes a warm greeting and shows that the person is welcome in that space. This gesture is particularly impactful in formal situations, such as business meetings, social events, or even in more casual settings among friends and family. It signals deference and can set the tone for the subsequent interaction, promoting an atmosphere of cordiality and mutual respect. Of course, it's important to recognize that there are exceptions. If someone is physically unable to stand up, whether due to a temporary health condition, like recent surgery or a permanent disability, the gesture of standing is not expected. In these situations, a warm smile, a nod, or even a brief explanation can convey the same level of respect and consideration. In summary, standing up to greet someone is more than just a formality. It's an expression of empathy and recognition of the other's dignity. This gesture, though small, reflects great human values, such as respect for individuality and the valuing of interpersonal relationships. So the next time someone arrives, remember the impact that this simple act can have and consider adopting it as part of your repertoire of good manners. Two, remove your headphones. In a world dominated by technology and constant sound stimuli, how do you react when an opportunity for human connection knocks at your door? Picture this, you're absorbed in your favorite music, engrossed in an engaging podcast, or watching a captivating video on YouTube. Suddenly, a familiar face appears amidst the crowd, whether on the street, public transport, the gym, or even the college hallways. This person, driven by the desire to share a moment with you, starts a conversation. So what's your reaction? Here's a golden rule of modern etiquette that's simple but speaks volumes about the respect and consideration we have for others. Remove your headphones. Yes, both of them. It's not just about pausing what you're listening to or removing one earbud while keeping the other in in an attempt to balance two worlds. The point is to unequivocally demonstrate that this moment and this person have your full attention. This gesture, as simple as it may seem, sends a powerful message. I am here for you and nothing else matters right now. It's an act of consideration that, though small, can strengthen bonds, create memories, and even transform a casual encounter into a meaningful interaction. In an era where face-to-face -face communication is becoming increasingly rare, Valuing these moments is a true sign of elegance. It's a reminder that, as much as technology offers us endless entertainment and knowledge possibilities, 
it should not distance us from the richness of human relations. Therefore, the next time life offers you the chance for an unexpected conversation, remember, the music can wait, the podcast can be paused, the video will still be there, but the moment of connection, that is unique and deserves all your attention. Three, being mindful of the volume of our voice in public places. Have you ever found yourself in a quiet setting, perhaps waiting for a medical appointment or in a line only to have your peace disrupted by someone talking loudly on their phone? This scenario, unfortunately common, leads us directly to the next crucial rule of modern etiquette, being mindful of the volume of our voice in public places. Respecting shared space is a fundamental pillar of social coexistence. When we decide to make a phone call or send a voice message in places like waiting rooms, bank queues, or even inside an elevator, it's essential that we remember the impact our voice volume can have on those around us. Speaking loudly, especially about personal or trivial matters, not only diverts the attention of those trying to read a book, flip through a magazine, or simply enjoy a moment of quietude, but can also be perceived as an invasion of others' auditory space. In times where privacy and quiet are increasingly rare, it becomes an act of consideration and elegance to minimize our sound footprint in shared environments. Imagine the difference it makes to the atmosphere when, instead of raising our voice on the phone, we choose to wait to make the call at a more opportune moment or decide to send a text message instead. This simple gesture reflects respect for others and a self-awareness and control that are the hallmarks of a truly elegant person. Remember, the way we behave in public, especially in moments that may seem insignificant, speaks volumes about our personality and our commitment to good manners. So the next time you feel the need to make a call or send an audio in a public space, take a pause and ask yourself, is this the right moment for this? Am I being respectful of others' space and tranquility? The answer to these questions can prevent discomfort and elevate the level of consideration and courtesy in our daily lives. 4. The use of shared spaces. Etiquette, at its core, is an expression of respect and consideration for others. And believe it, one situation where this is clearly manifested but often overlooked involves something as simple as the use of shared spaces. Let's talk about a daily mistake that, unfortunately, is still quite common. Occupying the seat next to you with bags, backpacks, or shopping bags in public places where those spaces could serve someone who needs to sit. Whether in a doctor's office, on public transport, or in any environment that offers limited seating, the decision to place personal items beside you, taking up a vacant spot, may seem trivial to some. However, this action reflects a lack of consideration for the needs of others, especially in places where space is a scarce and valuable commodity. Think about the last time you entered a waiting room and found all the chairs occupied, except for one, which was inaccessible due to a pile of personal items. This sight frustrates and puts into perspective the importance of being proactive in our kindness. We shouldn't wait for a disapproving look or a verbal request to free up space. The initiative to keep our belongings close, allowing the seat to fulfill its purpose, is a reflection of empathy and good manners. This behavior transcends basic social conventions. It speaks to creating an inclusive and accessible environment for everyone, regardless of who may need the seat, an elderly person, someone with reduced mobility, a pregnant woman, or simply someone tired after a long day. The gesture of keeping seats available reflects social awareness and a commitment to collective well-being. So, the next time you're in a shared space, remember, your personal items don't need a seat, but someone around you might. Being the first to act, to free up space, avoids uncomfortable situations and sets an example of respectful and courteous conduct. Let us be the agents of change promoting a more welcoming and kind environment where consideration for others is the rule, not the exception. 5. Body language Human communication goes far beyond the words we exchange. It's deeply influenced by our body language, eye contact, and the attention we show while interacting with others. This aspect of etiquette, fundamental in any type of relationship, is especially crucial during a conversation. When we engage in a dialogue, the way we listen and respond, not just with our verbal answers, but with our whole being, significantly impacts the quality of that interaction. Maintaining eye contact, for example, is one of the most direct ways to demonstrate that we are present and interested in what the other person has to say. It's a sign of respect that validates the person we are speaking with, communicating that we value their words and feelings. Similarly, our posture and gestures can complement this message, 
creating a welcoming and attentive environment for the exchange of ideas. On the other hand, a closed posture with crossed arms or a gaze that constantly wanders can convey disinterest or even disdain, regardless of our intentions. These nonverbal signals are as eloquent as the words we choose to use. They can build or destroy the perception of empathy and connection in a conversation. Interestingly, even young children are capable of discerning when the attention given to them is genuine or divided. If a child can notice this, imagine how sensitive adults are to these nuances of communication. Therefore, it's crucial to be conscious of how our attention, or lack thereof, is perceived by others. In an increasingly digitally connected world, where distractions are constant and the temptation to split our attention is great, the practice of being truly present in each conversation becomes an act of resistance and respect. By making an effort to maintain eye contact, adopt an open posture, and show genuine interest, we not only honor the person we are speaking to, but also cultivate deeper and more meaningful relationships. So the next time you find yourself in a conversation, remember that the way you listen and respond can be as impactful as what you say. Mindfulness is a gift we can offer each other, a sign of respect and appreciation that enriches our interactions and strengthens our human bonds. And now, it's your turn to take the stage. Can you identify which of these missteps is most recurrent around you? Even better, do you recognize in yourself any room for refinement? It's fascinating to realize how personal growth and elegance are intertwined in our daily actions, isn't it? I'm curious to hear your thoughts and, who knows, discover together new ways to incorporate kindness and respect into our daily lives. True elegance, after all, lies in the nuances of our interactions and in the way we care not just for our appearance, but also for our inner selves and how we relate to the world. And speaking of care, I can't help but mention something that perfectly complements today's conversation, skin care. It's amazing how small acts of self-care can make us feel more confident and, in turn, more elegant. So if you're looking to elevate your care routine, I have a surprise for you. In the first pinned comment, I've left a link to my favorite skincare products. I'm sure you'll love discovering these treasures. Before we move on, a question. Have you ever thought about how sophistication and elegance manifest in the small choices of everyday life? Well, if this reflection piques your interest, I have an essential recommendation. Check out the video, Five Topics Every Woman Needs to Know Classical Education for Women. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell so you don't miss any of our valuable insights, and leave your like. That way, you won't miss any of our content full of valuable tips to transform not just your wardrobe, but your life. Cultivating beauty, elegance, and an unparalleled sense of style. The journey towards elegance never ends. Continue with us, exploring, learning, and growing until the next video, where we'll bring even more insights to illuminate your path in fashion and personal development. See you there.